Well, welcome everybody to the Dewey Roundtable conference call tonight. I'm sure, like me, you're excited to be here and to hear all the wonderful information um, that's going to be shared tonight. Uh, this is an exciting time to be on the call. And uh, Well, the truth is whether you've been in this uh, investment uh, from the beginning or just for two weeks, these are probably the most exciting times of what we've been in. Uh, of course, we feel like we've been here before where we're right around the corner, but uh, folks, I promise you this right now, that we are closer today than we've ever been. Um, you've been following the economic events, not only here in the U.S., but around the world. Um, like me, I, I'm sure right now that you're even thanking God for this blessing. And uh, hey, I, I know it's easy to get discouraged in times. It, you get, it's easy to get discouraged when it doesn't maybe happen the way you think it's going to happen or even in the timing that maybe we think it's going to happen. Um, but that's why we're here. We're here to encourage you, to uh, lift you up, to share the information um, the way we receive it and, and share it, uh, uh, how it's passed on to us from our sources, and we want to pass it on to you. And, and folks, we're not trying to do this to try to build up uh, who we are or feed any type of egos. Uh, we're doing it because, number one, we believe in this investment, and uh, we, we care about you. Again, this whole roundtable started uh, in a day that because we knew that as, as much information was given uh, out there that uh, a lot of times didn't always pan out, wasn't true, and people got discouraged and had to pay and, and all this. We wanted to, to get together, pull together what we feel is a, uh, is a great, wonderful team, and just give the best information we can. So that's what we're doing. Welcome tonight. Uh, Gear up for this thing. Be ready, and again, just thank God for uh, the opportunity to have this money and, and, and to be part of what he's going to do uh, around this world. And Tom, thanks for giving me the opportunity for uh, opening up, and uh, God bless all of you. Oh, thank you, Jim. Appreciate you, uh, appreciate you bringing greetings to the people like that. Uh, real quick, though, everybody who's on this call, I'm going to give a, a few little primers before we get going. Everybody on this line, star six to mute, star six to unmute. So if you're going to talk, make sure you star, star six yourself. Uh, uh, the uh, uh, Make sure you don't, let's not use, use any last names or any names of banks or any of that stuff. The gist of all the information here is going to be as good as you want it, but we just want to stay away from getting anybody in trouble. Uh, and everybody goes, well, I want to know what bank and what branch and blah, 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 and run it down myself. Well, yeah. There's going to be 39,000 people on this call, more than likely, and uh, you and about half the other people are going to want to do that too. So let's uh, let's give those folks a break. This is going to happen sooner or later, no matter what. Uh, and and when that, when we uh, Dewey has a favorite saying: when we have that problem, we'll 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 solve it. And what that means is, as soon as we get this this RV shows up, uh, you know, then we can worry about which bank and where we're going to cash in and all that kind of stuff. Uh, I also wanted to uh, we had a couple of couple of folks out tonight. Uh, Poppy is not feeling well, and he normally uh, starts us out, but he wasn't feeling good at all. We're, our prayers go out to him, but we have uh, the beauty of this Intel crew, I can tell you firsthand, is that it's, it's very, very deep in the bench. Uh, we do have a lot of the superstars, but there's a lot of folks behind the scenes that you don't see, that I see every day, and, and they're always digging up you know, little bits and pieces here and there, and uh, and guys that are ca willing, able, and capable of speaking at a moment's notice, uh, like there, Jim and uh, and uh, Bruce is going to uh, he's going to finish us up tonight. So so there's guys uh, who and Bruce, by the way, just to give you an idea how I mean, Jim's brought some of the some of our best bank contacts uh, in the in the you know in in our whole history, and then Bruce has some just incredible contacts around the globe. So these are guys that you never really hear much about in our Intel group, but I promise you there is uh, uh, there is a there is a bunch of folks in this group that you don't hear from on a daily basis. They're not famous on the internet, but they have they are excellent excellent uh, helpers. They they uh, just just helping helping me and everybody else here bringing good intel. So I'm so appreciative of them. Thank you, Jim. Uh, real quick here, I want to uh, I want to bring D Money on the line. He just he just had some late breaking info. Like as I was doing the pre call for this thing, he texts me and says he's got something that he wants to be able to share with you guys. D Money, are you out there? They're asking. 
asking for you. Hello? Uh, yes. Who's, who's this? This is his wife. He's coming. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, <laughs> hey, BGG, that's I'm great. Here. The funniest yeah. thing I've ever seen him, ever heard in my life. That's just great. <laughs> that's awesome. Well, we... <laughs> oh, we keep it light here. So tell us, tell us your information. It was worth the wait, I promise. You, you folks won't be, uh, you, he won't let you down. So come on, tell us what you heard. Um, our mutual friend, as you know, he, he just uh, informed me tonight that uh, President Obama signed off on the executive order at 6 p.m. Eastern time to release the RV and that we will see it first thing in the morning, that President Obama did sign off on it and there is confirmation of that. Ooh. Well, that's one way to start a call off, isn't it, D-Money? Uh, there you go. <laughs> that's one way to start a call off. Well, listen, just so you all know, uh, I'm going to vouch for this guy. I sure hope this intel pans out, but uh, uh, D-Money, is a uh, he is a, a banker by trade. Uh, he and I have our, a very unique history. <laughs> it's just funnier than I'll get out. Uh, but uh, but the but the man bringing that contact is far and away some of the heaviest contact in the game. So uh, right, wrong, or indifferent, this here is a very good piece of information, and that's why we put him right up at the very front of the pack. So D Money, I appreciate you bringing that. Uh, if, if you just can't know how, how much I appreciate that, that's awesome. Uh, Oki, are you out there? Sitting here in warm western Oklahoma, just enjoying the conversation and. Uh, let me uh, welcome everybody tonight to the call, and and also I want to back the gentleman up that was just on. I got intel this afternoon about uh, about 1:45 what was supposed to happen at 6 p.m. Then I got a call shortly after 6 p.m. from a congressional aide stating that Obama did sign the release of the RV. So. Now, I'm not saying it's going to happen tonight or in the morning or tomorrow, but at least uh, that portion of it signed. Uh, a little bit of intel I got in today was regarding the herbal agreement was uh, initiated this morning. Uh, Maliki and Alawi evidently has made peace amongst themselves, and a large majority of your uh, ministerial seats is going to fade into the sunset as per Maliki's wishes. They, uh, they're having trouble over there now with what currency they do have in circulation is uh, evidently so worn that the counterfeiters now are making counterfeit, and they it's it looks so real like worn original uh, currency that they can't differentiate between it, so they're going to have to replace their, uh, uh, their currency over there or RV right away, so uh, you know which way they're going there. Also, they're going to put out the coins uh, in circulation uh, the latter part of this week. So uh, if they put out the coins, that tells us RV will have happened. So that's a, that's a lot of intel in a short period of time, but I'm a bottom line guy. I don't believe in superfluous flowery language. So there it is. You've got your, you've got your uh, president signing off on the RV. You've got Maliki and Alawi making peace. You got the herbal agreement being initiated. Uh, you got the money being uh, uh, handled in Iraq per se. The old money is going to be exchanged for the new, as well as the coins in circulation. So, right there is enough for you to digest tonight, guys. Thanks. Wow, we can't we can't let what uh, we can't. Uh we can't let you go. What the, uh, you had some information uh, from Senator's aide, uh, I think yesterday, wasn't it, Oki, or the day before? Is that right? And today also. Okay. What was your information uh, yesterday? My, my information yesterday was yesterday was the day, which I'd heard many times before, but uh, I had it from two separate parties uh, this afternoon. You know, for some reason I thought you talked to the Senator's aide and he said it was coming today. Or today was the day, or something like that. Not like it was sometime in the future, wasn't it? Uh, he said today. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's fine. I mean, if he signed the order today, that's today, as far as I'm concerned. I mean, uh, that's good. So, uh, so excellent. By the way, just to give o Oki some kudos, uh, his website is just unreal. It is a bumping chat like I have never seen before. Uh, I heard him say this a while back, and I thought, hey. You know, how cool can a chat be? <laughs> and I'm here to tell you, 
it is without doubt the coolest chat anywhere ever period in history so if you all you know that that's my plug for Oki. uh he is he just he absolutely is the rock star of the whole crew he's the elvis of the bunch no no doubt about it so uh uh angel you know what i had some information yeah, go ahead that's uh, i you. had some information just come in late uh that i that, that i couldn't even hardly fit in the lineup somewhere but uh uh, one of our guys who really can't talk on this call um, due to his uh, job constraints, he, uh, he got some information that the uh, London uh, Stock Exchange traders, the LSE traders, are, are, are having to come in two hours early tomorrow. Um, that was very interesting information, especially with some of the other stuff you're going to hear tonight. So very interesting information there. LSE traders are coming in two hours early. And uh, that was confirmed just a little bit ago. Uh, AQ, are you out there? Yes. Can you hear me? Yeah, I'm, I, I can. How are you today, Angel Quest? I'm ready for this RV. How are you? Are you? I am. Uh, I'm with you. I think there are a lot of people out there really frustrated right now. It's it's been hot all over the country for a very long time, and folks are pretty cranky. They're ready for them in RV. I know. I'm with Oki. I'm, I'm in the 100. I'm, in, I'm not far from Oki. And I really want to say you might want to look in the Intel room because I found an article that pretty much backed up what Oki said, the herbal and the ministers, etc. That was put out in writing. Uh, listen, we've got, uh, we, we need to take a short little, uh, short little break here. I'm going to bring D-Money on because we've got more Intel that just came in just now. And we'll come back to the this is a conversation I want to have with you because you're just you're just awesome. You you've got all kinds of info. So we'll be right back to you. D money, star six to unmute yourself and come on here. D money, you out there? Okay, D money's wife, yell at him again. He's coming. He's struggling with his star six button. Okie dokie. Are you still there, AQ? Yes, I'm still here. Okay, here we go. Okay, let's, yeah, let's let's go ahead and uh, reboot here. Start over where you were, and he'll just butt in whenever he gets a whenever he gets a uh, a chance. Uh, you had a tell me about this article you just posted. Well, the one I just posted was uh, from Talibani, a press release, if I remember. It's not in front of me. But they went over the four or five points that they discussed last night. And they did this last night before midnight or at midnight in Talibani's home. And it mentioned the ministers, the committee for the herbal agreement. You can't have a committee for, a, for an object that's not there. How can you form a committee if the herbal agreement has not been agreed on? Now, that's just common sense that it says that in that article. And the article I posted earlier said that the herbal agreement was agreed upon and a committee was formed to enforce or implement it. Yeah, I, I believe that to be true. I'm hearing that from several different sources right now. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, I just, you know, whether it's our government holding it up or whether it's their government hold it up or, or whatever, uh, it's just going to be a funny, funny coincidence that it all happens at the same time. Yeah, I believe it was already. I do believe that they were told to hold off, the Iraqis were told to hold off because our government was indeed not ready. But now they are, so now it's quickly get it out there, in my opinion. Yeah, and that, that's, I mean, my opinion is the same as yours, that it is our opinion. So it, it'll be very, very difficult to ever disprove, prove or disprove at some point. Uh, but it just will look very fishy. Uh, okay, we got, we got, uh, D-Money is unmuted. Can you, can you come on here, D-Money? Yeah, can you hear me now? Yeah, I can. Uh, buddy in here and tell us what you got to tell us. I just got another text message. He got, an, you know, that first confirmation was from right out of the White House. He just yeah. got another confirmation from the Pentagon 
And the Pentagon states that uh, tomorrow is happening. Uh, that wow. is his contact inside the Pentagon. Wow. What? I just got that message not probably 60 seconds ago. Well, you, uh, I'm going to have to just be so, uh, I don't even know how I'm going to mend this situation. I sure hope he's, he's not pissed at us for that. Uh, I, I hope he's not. I, I think he's. Uh, I think he's probably happy to share at this point because of uh, such a high level information. <laughs> he's so he's underground for so long. Uh, he just. Uh, I threatened to do. I threatened to pull. Uh, pull one of his today, though. I was. I was just about ready to just pull the plug and go underground forever. And uh, he's the master at that. I'll tell you the truth. This guy's. He's all that. So that is fabulous. Fabulous news. You just heard it 60 if I, if seconds. I anything, if I get anything else, I'll, I'll uh, send you a text. Yeah, thank you. I appreciate that. That, that was awesome, D Money. I appreciate you bringing that information from uh, from our mutual contact there. He's just all that in a bag of bag of chips. So, uh, and I'll have to th thank him after the we we're all exchanged. I'm just be so grateful to him for bringing us that news. AQ, uh, let's pick up where we left off if we can get our head straight after that. I'd rather give D Money the floor. He's got much more uh, fighting than we do. Well, and you know, this is the thing that I was trying to tell people in the very beginning of this call is that this crew of people is 24 people deep. They see four or five people in the forefront, and they think they're the ones with all the contacts, and it just is not the case. What is the case is, you know, I know for a fact that tonight I will get credit for two or three people's information. It's not mine. It's you know, it's some of these folks in the background that dig and pick it up and are good, solid people that I trust. And uh, and it's the, it's the depth of the information. It's not the uh, one person having all these contacts. It's really not. It's not about one superstar at all. So I wish yeah. I wish in the worst way Poppy could be here with us because he, he is one of our superstars and he's just not feeling very good at all. So uh, I know. Oh, I'm, I'm going to actually, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bring a bunch of his information because he, he and I had some great conversations about what's going on in the last six weeks, why some of the information has not panned out, and, uh, and it was really good stuff, so I'll make sure I bring all that to you. Uh, go ahead, AQ. Let's finish this up because I'm going to bring Dusty in here in a minute, too. Okay. Well, you can bring Dusty in, really. My, my whole thing is it's done, and seeing the herbal agreement in agreement, it, I mean, that it was agreed upon, and it is a fact, as Oki stated, then it's done. Yeah. I have not seen the intel, just article. You know, I will say that uh, to, to, to dovetail on that or to, to add something to that, I had, uh, I'll say, probably three or four very good sources that said, that said the same thing. Um, well, one in particular that really pointed out that herbal agreement, um, he said that he felt like it was done, but as soon as you saw it uh, announced, then you would see an RV, and actually I'll tell you another really good guy uh, that, that, that just, uh, Randy Koontz just had a call right before us, and uh, he just slam dunked it. I mean, you know, he said yes. as soon as you see this this, this uh, herbal, you're going to see an I, RV, so I think I he's very trying, excited. I kept trying to get Randy. Uh, we I had everybody in Skype. I downloaded some people into Skype to give him that message to show him that article is indeed out. It came out at 20 seconds past the hour in Iraq. <laughs> Look at the date on that. <laughs> I just, I just, I'm sorry, folks. I laughed about a text I just got here. There's no way that I can share this, not in a million years, but it's just hilarious. And uh, for those of you that sent me that text, I so appreciate that. Thank you very much. Uh, oh my gosh, it's good stuff. Uh, and my laugh, my wife is looking at the text, and she's going to laugh here in a second too. That's. Uh, Okay, now okay. that's not fair. That's I know not fair. it's not fair at all, but there's no way I can do that to y'all. I'm just not going to do that. Uh, there, what I wanted to, you and Dusty to talk about, I had this plan in my mind, was uh, there was this article um, that uh, Dusty, I think, had posted. Uh, and you, you noticed that about the, uh, you know, one other question before we get going. You, you made a great comment. I, you already gave me your thoughts on the herbal agreement, but you also made a very interesting uh, observation a couple of days ago about Iraq's core core inflation being 6.1% uh, in 
uh, June. Go ahead and run us through that uh, thought process, if you would. Well, that article came out, and as I told everybody, if it's correct, there is no way a country can have 6.1 inflation in June, I don't know what it was in July, and then come down to 3% without having lower denoms and the coins, et cetera, out. There is no way. If there's an economic... You there, AJ? If there, yeah, if there's an economic analyst that can explain that to me, then do so. But there is no way you can bring down inflation that quickly without having money in circulation, and we know they do not unless the lower denoms are out. They're complaining that the old bills are so crinkled, they're charging extra to just take them. So my guess is if they are at 3%, then that RV is done. Yes, that, that's exactly. Uh, and, I, you know, I don't know if that's true information or not, but it's very, very inform it's very interesting. You know, how do you take core, core uh, your, your core inflation rate from 6.1% to three percent the following month. You know they did it in thirty days or less. Just, just not possible unless there's some cataclysmic event that went on. Or, you know, obviously there's always that possibility. It's not true, but, uh, but they they posted that several different times, different news articles. Uh, you know, something has gone on to cause that number to change like that. Yes, I agree. I agree. Emphatically. Um, Yes, uh, that article that you uh, posted that I wanted you and Dusty to talk over was, hang on here. I got it right here if you need it. Yeah, go ahead. You know what, Dusty, read the first part of that, and then and then uh, I'll, I'll jump in with her comments and let you guys take it from there. Okay, before I get started, I want people to understand this. 80% of the Iraqi media is still crap, okay? That is still my 100% opinion. Um, if there's anything that these people have learned from the Americans, it's how to run a government, one, and how to lie to people, and also what the media should and shouldn't tell the general public. So with that being said, we have to siphon through the 80% of the crap to find the 20% of stuff that can actually lead you in the right direction. Now, that's my belief system. Everybody's got their own. Um, with that being said, I'm going to talk this over with AQ just a second. And it says the central bank will soon begin to lift the three zeros with the advice of international economic organizations. That's the title of this article. And it says, a deputy governor of the Central Bank of Iraq, that Iraq began the restructuring of the involvement of the currency of international economic organizations, focused on raising three zeros and the development of new metallic currency. The appearance of Mohammed told the people that the central bank agreed the international organizations of the process of restructuring of the currency and support the level of the value of the Iraqi dinar against a foreign currency. He pointed out that the process of restructuring, which will begin this week, will focus on providing appropriate climates to raise three zeros from the local currency in addition to the development of simple coin for 500 dinar and 1,000 dinars. Yeah, I uh, that that little uh, that little piece there. I don't know that the numbers uh, are all perfectly translated, but uh, that that it would begin this week was very interesting. I I, I copied that and uh, and posted that separately. Uh, and I also saw another article, I think yesterday or something, uh, that said that they would that something about them only taking a, a day to implement or happen overnight or something to that to that uh, to that effect. Will you take that away? Thank you. I take that away on the article and what Dusty just said. Yeah, and the, I think you said you saw that same same verbiage a couple of days ago. I did. I saw that same exact. And what were, um, first of all, Dusty, you're right. They learned from the best. Ha ha. But make a long story short, that article that you read us was put out on the 1st of August. The next week to the Iraqis is today. Their next week is always today. I think that's been done. I think some of that smoke, regardless, I think it's being implemented now. I really can't add any more to that because we've been hearing for months that removing the three zeros. They even had bank uh, dinars up on the bank walls to show their people what their 25,000 dinar would go to, etc. They've had all that. We've seen it on the media. 
So. Hey, AQ, do you remember when you and I swapped photos back and forth and we found the one that had the uh, large d notes and they had them stacked in the bank and they had pictures of it? Yes, I do. I do. And, and so... And, and Shabibi has said for months that they were going through this process. They were already raising the three zeros. He has even said in an open interview that the process was almost completed. That is past tense. Almost yeah. completed. So I 100% agree with where we stand right now as to where your thought process is. Um, I do believe that this has already been implemented. I think the finalization of it may have been up to Parliament, and the U.S. was restricting the vote. And now they have taken as much time as they can to move forward, and it appears to me like the, I don't want to say the trigger's been pulled, but I don't think there's another way to put it. Well, the well I'll tell you what, if that executive order is, uh, is signed, I don't know that you can look at that as any other thing but a trigger. Right. I mean, it's just really hard to. And, and if there's anyone on this call that doesn't believe that the United States government has anything to do with this is out of their mind. And if you attack me in chat, if you want, I don't come get some because page fourteen of that document from the Secretary of State said that we devalued their currency six hundred and sixty thousand percent. Page fourteen, line one of that Secretary of State paperwork, that unclassified, declassified document, says we devalued. We made the decision to devalue their currency 660,000%. And for those naysayers that say, oh, it's impossible for that to happen, you can never revalue. Well, don't you think if we can devalue it, we can dang sure revalue it? The, the, the absolute reverse. It, yeah. If you, if you, the, the flip side of that logic is absolutely. If we, if we took them down, we can bring them back up. I just heard George Bush holler amen in the background. <laughs> And I got I, I need about one more person to run into me in a chat room that says anything with the letters L O or P in the middle of it. I am sick. That is not going to solve. Iraq does not have an inflation issue. It doesn't solve the problem. And then they say, Oh, well, they put an article out that says that they were taking notes from Turkey. Yeah, they were taking notes on what not to do. Because if Turkey would have done what the IMF had suggested they do, they would not have run into the demise of their economy within 48 months of what they did. Correct. Now that article Get your you stuff read, straight. That article that you read, just if we really read that last... Thank you. You're cutting out only. Thank you. You cut out just a second there, babe. Hey, uh, uh, Dusty, do me a favor. Uh, go, uh, go call Poppy and bring him in. I just saw him on. Uh, he's online right now. Okay. So um, see, before I, before I do in. that, let me let me explain to you. I've, I'm not uh, at any means stepping on uh, the the previous intel that has been brought. Um, but I will tell you that I have talked with some DC, DC contacts later this evening, and. Things are right on track. You know, they told me three and a half weeks ago uh, a set of dates that in the next window for this to happen would have been. I've been putting that out for over three and a half weeks now. That is their window, not mine. Understand that. I need you guys to understand. I am no, uh, I don't, uh, I'm trying not to offend anyone here. I, I'm, not a, uh, I'm not a prophet. I, I did not predict that. I am not a psychic. I am not Mr. Cleo. Don't call my 800 number in the middle of the night tonight expecting something. I'm just telling you that that is what they told me out of D.C. And when I talked with them today, everything was on schedule. And it was put to me that this could go any moment. Okay? Now, I'm not saying that it will go any moment because they were sticking to their window. They were just saying that this could go any moment. And this was a couple of hours ago before this wonderful intel that some of the other people that are on this great team brought in. So just know that you can't sit in a better position. You're in the driver's seat of a Lamborghini Diablo, and you just passed a Pinto, you know, just a few minutes ago, just by getting on this call. You know where you sit now. Congratulations for making an executive decision to dial a phone number and listen to some people that have educated themselves and that have, have, have fought their way through this investment. Preach it, brother. Preach it. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm yeah, on go, rent now. 
I'll go get coffee. I'll be back in a minute, BGG. Amen. Amen, Amen on you. that sermon. Amen yep. on that sermon. Yes. Okay. Uh, okay, you got any more comments for us? I, I think you do. I think you got something to tell people. Uh, I don't know really what it would be. Um, I told them about the coins, and I told them about the money, and about the herbal agreement, and about uh, Malachi and Alawi making kissy face this morning, uh, about the ministerial seats being reduced, uh, about uh, the uh, your president signing off uh, at 6 o'clock this afternoon. I mean, uh, anything else I would say would be anticlimactic. Uh, what is uh, is Dewey out there? What are you thinking, Dewey? I'm just enjoying listening to it. Uh, that's all I was doing, just sitting back, muted. Well, I mean, what do you what do you think of what you heard so far? Can't hardly believe just, it, can you? I think it's uh, no. It's, it's uh, looks like it's. Hopefully, it's here this time. Hope it is. Hey, Dewey. Yep. Mm -hmm. I've never been as happy to hear your voice ever. Oh, really? What's up, Dusty? Nothing. Just glad to hear your voice, buddy. Well, thank you, thank you. Yeah, did you get Poppy? I'm, yeah, uh, I got... I'm trying to get him now. Okay, BGG finally answered me. Okay, I'll be right back. Yeah. yeah. Well, we've waited seven and a half years, and Okie's waited eight. And uh, we're just uh, hoping it's here. That's awesome. I'm glad you're feeling better, dude. You weren't feeling too yeah. good the other night. No, I, was, I was in bad shape of the night, but uh, I'm good now. But... Um, Good. This, this, um, there's no other investment anyway that could have done this. There's nothing else would have worked. Uh, yep, you're right. There's just, there's, just, there's just no other game in town, is there, Dewey? Uh -uh. Not for us. You know, not not with that kind of upside. I mean, there's other investments, but uh, just not anywhere close to this. Hey, you guys, while we're talking about the... Uh, uh, patting one another on the back about how smart we are getting this investment. Let's see if we can get uh, any intel in here on the dong on this uh, uh, this conference call. You know, uh, I have some information on this, and uh, I'm going to ask for Daisy out there to star six yourself. Uh, if you're on, she's going to. Yep. Are you there, Daisy? Did you make it on? Yeah, there you are. Speak up. We can just barely hear you in the background. How are you? There you go. We're great. How are you? Oh, good. Sounds like we got lots of exciting news, huh? There's a lot of exciting news. Yes. The, only, the only little piece that I had is, um, is uh, that I did get a, some word from my source today that a bunch of our congressional leaders went out and bought up a ton of VND today. They bought a ton of the dong, didn't they? Yep. Yep. Some some of our lawmakers heard what was coming and they they got it ahead ahead of the uh, got ahead of the curve. And that that's good information. If they know something's coming then then they're jumping all over it. For those who don't know the V and D she's speaking of is Vietnamese dong. Okay. Uh Hey, why don't you uh, give us a little bit of a dissertation on on the the, the whole labor, the China uh, labor relationship there, Dewey? You're pretty well versed on that. No, I don't know much about it except that China uh, has raised their money now five percent, uh, and and they've been after Vietnam to do the same thing. But uh, they're losing jobs to Vietnam, and, and Gallatin lost uh, three factories. One was Crescent Furniture to Vietnam. Uh, all Crescent Furniture now is manufactured in Vietnam. Uh, They've got to raise, I think they're going to have to raise it. Maybe they do, maybe they won't, but I think they will because they're lo China's losing too much jobs themselves down to Vietnam. You just make them so much cheaper. And yeah. uh, so they're 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 spent they're hundreds of billions of dollars. China bought banks, factories, everything they could buy just about two months ago. Just hundreds of billions of dollars invested and uh, just buying up Vietnam. So that's all I know about it. But hopefully they'll raise that money too, probably at the same time probably at the same time. We've heard different stories but, but you know, different different information has come to us but but that they're they're playing on some kind of a currency move there, just don't know exactly when. So that's one thing to 
to kind of look at. I appreciate your input there, Dewey. That's, that's and by the way, just for most of you that don't know him, this is this is the guy that probably really started the most of this rodeo. And I appreciate you uh, getting me involved, Dewey. Thank you so much. I, I can't hardly wait for this thing to finish up. That's what I want to do. It's, it's taken long enough. I'm ready for this investment to end. One way or the other, let's go with it. Yeah, let's do it. Hey, uh, i got a bunch of information I'm sitting on here, so I'm going to go ahead and get started with it. And I'll be as quick as as quick as quick I can about it. I had two really good sources uh, last week uh, saying very plainly uh, and pointedly that when you have a debt deal that you're going to see your RV. That's what they said, you know, prior to, and I could go into the debt to their contacts and, you know, what they said prior to that that got, uh, that got uh, altered, but I won't, all I'll say is they're, they're very, very good sources, and they were plainly saying that as soon as you see this debt deal done that you'll, you'll, uh, that you'll have yourself an RD, RV, and I had one very well-known source uh, saying he felt like uh, this thing was probably going to show up uh, tomorrow sometime and that we would be at the bank on Thursday. Now, I won't even come out in the open and tell you who that was because you all just eviscerate the guy uh, between now and then and after then, no matter what, uh, right, wrong, or indifferent. But uh, I just couldn't hardly believe my ears when I heard that. Uh, it was very, very good information. He was he was very plain about it. He said, uh, you know, fully, fully expects to be at the bank by no later than Thursday. So that was his information to me. Uh, we've gone through a bunch of, of really good information. I'm gonna I'm gonna back clean up here in just a couple of minutes. But uh, had had a bunch of good uh, uh, good information coming. I'm gonna bring in uh, Scotty G here. Scotty, you out there? Yeah, I'm here, BGG. How you doing, brother? I tell you what, this is this is just an amazing call. Yeah, I really? Yeah, no, I never. I, I just didn't expect that, but here you go. Because we we had a ton of information pour in in the ten minutes before we opened up the line. I, I continually stand amazed at, at this group. I, and just to, just to kind of lay a little foundation here today. And, well, you and I, and, and Poppy and I, and, and Donnie and I, we have we've all talked amongst ourselves about how frustrated we were. And, and we've dissected this, we, we've examined it, we've looked at it from the top, from the bottom, we've x-rayed it, we've looked at it from every angle possible. And everything is saying this is done. Oh, and then we get this information, this wonderful information from uh, uh, D-Money and Oki tonight and AQ and, and Dusty, and, and man, I tell you what, we're sitting right on top of this thing. And this, this little tidbit, a couple of tidbits I have will... They're, they're, they're not of the same caliber, but they, they, they complement what we're hearing. Uh, my, my banker, that one of the bankers I've been dealing with, a bank manager that I've been talking to for quite a while and, and working with, who's also an investor uh, in the IQD, he, uh, he, he told me last Monday he got, a little, he got a report from his company, from corporate. And I'm not going to say who it was. But he got a letter from corporate, and he and he sold and, and they they sold this. They said, "Look, starting Monday, all our branches are going to have at least twenty five percent more currency in the vault. All our branches, countrywide." He said, "This has never happened before. They don't do this." And I said, "Really?" And and, and talking today, I said, "Well, tell me a little bit more about." This. They said, "Well, look." Let me tell you something, and, and, and I can't tell, and nobody can know this. And I will not release what bank this is or who it is, because I will not put him under the bus. But he, his management knows that he is working with a group of investors that are going to be bringing a substantial amount of IQD to cash in at his branch. They have brought in 50% more currency into his vault. Unheard of. Unheard of. Well, we, we know that that's, that's important important information because we know that they've been, in the, on the bank side of things, they've been putting more cash uh, into the system to handle this for uh, since July 4th. So uh, since right before July 4th, there's been a lot more, uh, you know, a lot more cash put into the system, um, you know, that we know of pretty much firsthand. So... This is, this right. Is, well, we knew they were putting it out into the Federal Reserve, placing it in the different cities, getting ready, staging, as it were, 
and now they're, they, it seems that they're uh, uh, not disseminating, but uh, uh, putting this money at, at work into the different branches. And it may be true with some of the other of the big four. I don't know. I do know this one chain, this is countrywide. And I do know uh, he called, because uh, he and I talked about, uh, you know, Donnie R. had, had, had gone to his uh, banker uh, in, in Sedona last week. And so, uh, I, and I told uh, this, uh, my manager about it. Well, he called over there, and, and they're all excited. He said, well, what can you tell me? Are y'all, are y'all ready for the RV? They said, yeah, we're ready. We're expecting it at any time. And this is one bank manager talking to another bank manager. They said, we're ready. <laughs> Bring it on. And he called up to Columbus. Uh, a good buddy of mine up in Columbus has, has gone to his, his branch up there, and, and they're interested. They're ready. So we're getting this now at the branch level, and that's big. Uh, BCG, that's big. They're getting it at the branch level. That's one of the keys we're looking for. We're getting knocked off once. Uh, yeah, that, that's just awesome, spectacular. We're hearing a lot of that kind of information right now, and uh, I don't think we're going to have to hear much more of it, to be honest with you. This, this call here is very, very interesting. Um, Does anyone want to address the right? Poppy uh, hit a home run today in my book. Oh, uh, with the, you know what? Why don't you go ahead and share what he did there? Because uh, he's not with us, and I was going to share a bunch of his information, but Poppy is so active, people don't realize uh, just how much stuff he does on a regular basis for us. Uh, so why don't you share what he did, and then uh, and I'll share some of the other conversations we have. So, okay, well, I know that I can do it the justice that, that it actually deserves, but I'll do my best. Yeah, do that. Uh, probably a little before noon today, uh, Central Time, and um, I, I uh, was, he was getting ready to go into a meeting. Of course, I don't know how many people realize, but he is a, he, he's in uh, politics, okay? He, he's in, in, in government, and um, he has uh, occasion to deal with and to talk to and communicate with his, his congresswoman. And uh, he said, uh, Scotty, he said, look, I, I, got, I, I called their office this morning. I spoke with her aide and said, you know, I'd really like to, to uh, talk to to the congresswoman and said, here are, I'm sending you four questions that I would like her to answer. And and, and as best I can remember, the questions were uh, all related to uh, the IQD. Uh, what are you all going to, uh, how much are you all actually sitting on? What are you going to do with it once it uh, revalues? How much of this is going to be uh, towards, go towards the war reparations? And, uh, you know, how much of it's going to go towards the uh, national debt? I mean, all valid and, and pertinent questions that we want answered. And then he, he really laid that fleece out there. And, and, gosh, I hope the heck she, she jumps on board and does this. But uh, uh, he said, look, how would you like to come on to one of our calls <laughs> with, with about three or 400,000 of our best friends? <laughs> And and you can talk to them and tell them, tell them and answer these very questions. I said, Poppy, I said, that's just brilliant. And I hope I hope he does get that done. I hope he he's able to make that happen. And and maybe uh, and you had a little bit of information earlier, and I'm not going to step on what you were sharing with me earlier, but uh, I think that ties in beautifully with what uh, what Poppy did earlier. So you may want that may be a good uh, a segue point for you, uh, BG. Uh, what uh, what do what do you uh, what information are you uh, talking about? Well, didn't you say uh, there was a conference call going on at that level? Oh yeah, there, that that came from. Uh, oh yeah, absolutely. They uh, she was once once Poppy uh, laid it out to her that uh, you know that she could come on the conference call. Uh, I, I got an email from her office directly to me. Uh, that, that she was having her own conference call, so she'd be unable to attend. <laughs> so, yeah, they were they were they were having their own town hall conference call about the death ceiling, and I thought, oh, here we go. And you know what sounds crazy to me? Why would you have a conference call after all the negotiations on the debt ceiling when you just did a deal on the debt ceiling? You know what I mean? Well, timing was what was going on in the White House about that same time too, huh? 
No, it's today. I got the email about the conference call that's going on tonight after the deal's already done. Yeah, no, that's what I'm talking about. How, what interesting timing that that would be going on around the same time that uh, OT and, and uh, D Money were saying a piece of paper was being signed. That's exactly correct. Very, very, very interesting timing. I just, the whole thing just shocks me. Uh, anyway, that's spectacular. Thank you, Scotty. Uh, thanks for uh, for Poppy's information. You know, uh, real quick, I will not uh, jump all over this. I want to. We're running out of time here. Uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. Black, are you out there? Mr. Black, you out there? Star six yourself. On you. Yes, I'm right here. Yeah. BBG. Hey, will you do me a favor? We're, we're we're running out of time, bad here, but just just hit the high notes for a couple of minutes, uh, if you don't mind, about uh, you know the other day and and uh, what's going on today, if you would. I got to uh, I got a whole page of stuff I got to get through myself, and at least one other guy to get on here. So if you can hustle, we'll be awesome. We're about ready to hit the magic hour mark. Okay, that's fine. Uh, actually, you know, per our conversation that we had the other day, uh, uh, my congressional source that I, I actually met with in person, you know, uh, had uh, confirmed uh, that this debt ceiling thing, although it wasn't tied directly to the uh, uh, the RV, uh, it did have uh, did play into it, and they was using that in the U.S. Uh, the big O, so to speak. Uh, was part of the problem on the delay, but I was at form, informed with them in that meeting uh, that we were on a minute-by-minute minute, uh, watch for this thing to pop off. I actually uh, had a phone, con a sub subsequent phone conversation uh, with that same person in that congressional office, which I used to work for, uh, who reconfirmed for me today that we are still minute-by-minute minute and it was kind of like it was something else they wanted to tell me but didn't. They said, look, don't worry about it. Just sit tight. You're minute by minute. Just trust me. And that was the end of our conversation. Then I get on the call tonight, and this great news about the big O signing that executive order explains exactly what they really wanted to tell me. But because they work in that office, sometimes I think that their concern of, of the what could come back on them. And that's pretty much what I have. It basically just kind of support, supports and reconfirm what uh, the news, the great news that we have tonight. That's spectacular news. I just got uh, another, I just got a, uh, I just got a, uh, an email as you were talking, uh, got a, got an email from a banker. He's actually on the call and he said the increase in their branch is a hundred percent. He's actually, actually a banker. He is on the call. He confirmed uh, not a, 25 or 50 percent increase, but they are they have doubled up on their cash right now. So very, very, very interesting development. Uh, T Money, are you out there? T Money. T Money. T Money. Yep, he's out there somewhere. He's fighting with his phone. Uh, tell you what, T-Money, if you get your phone undone, you just butt in. I've got so much stuff to get through, I'm just going to get started. And uh, and then whenever I get done, uh, I'll just or whenever you show up, I'll have you, uh, uh, I'll have you, uh, uh, T-Money, if you're out there, just butt in and share with, with us what you're going to share with us. And uh, how about now? There you go. There, there you go. Go ahead, T Money. Technology at its best. Yep, technology is best. Uh, go ahead and go ahead and share uh, that that full story and some of your the market. Uh, well, now you broke up. Uh, go ahead and uh, share share that. Uh, you and I talked about some information you got in today. Uh, go ahead and yeah. share that, and then some information uh, on the market. Make sure you don't mention that bank's name. That would be devastating for them. Oh no, I'm not going to do that. It's it's uh, it's just a uh, bank in Florida that's a banker that that's uh, in the currency department down there, and uh, he's always been pretty adamant that it was going to be a while till this thing happened. And uh, he calls up uh, yesterday and says. Um, uh, this thing's fixing to go down. It says, uh, 
you know, I got I've got intel from the higher sources in the bank that said be ready because it's fixing to happen. So, and this this man has always been pretty adamant that it's going to be a pretty good while off. So, that was good news that I thought. Um, another thing that I was going to get to last, well, I, I was down, uh, of course, I was stuck in uh, Gulf Shores, Alabama last week, and uh, I was trying to get to the fact that uh, that the market was going to sell off pretty hard uh, uh, in preparation for this thing, and uh, I believe, I actually believe that the Wall Street boys are going to force this thing to happen one way or the other, and today they they put a little exclamation part on it. It was down 266 points today. Uh, it's been down eight straight days uh, in the market. So uh, they're they're setting up for this thing to happen, and they're going. They're like I said, they're going to force it to happen. So uh, remember all these guys that's uh, that's maybe have cashed out or something like that. They've got that are in dollars. Uh, they're taking their dollars apart right now. So uh, I think they'll be in a hurry to. Uh, to uh, get this thing going, so uh, that was another thing. I've got another day coming in Thursday that looks like, uh, in fact, it started right on the day last week that I said it would, and then right now it looks like we're we got a day Wednesday, Thursday for this thing to turn around. So, right in time for what we're hearing tonight, as far as timing, and that's the one thing that I do work on the most is timing. And uh, I think some of the information I've shared with you has been right on the money. Oh, absolutely. Uh, for those of you that don't know, I really can't even tell you what T Money does, but he's a big chart guy and he's a 30-year veteran, so he knows what he's talking about. He'll he'll tell you about stuff that's going to happen long, long before it ever does. So, anyway, um, thank you, hey, T Money. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Who's this? This is Scotty G. Uh, let me throw in just one little codicil on this. Okay. Uh, uh, T Money mentioned something, and 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 I, I, when Donnie and I were talking this evening. I said, Donnie, I said, you know what tomorrow is? He said, no, Scotty, what's tomorrow? I said, it's Mr. O's birthday. I said, what a birthday present he would be giving himself, huh? He That's said, right. oh, that is brilliant. <laughs> yeah. I think T-Money hit it right on the nail. I think I think tomorrow may be uh, <laughs> what we're looking for, for that reason. Uh, well, I didn't yeah. know that, but thanks for backing me up there. Makes a, lot, makes a lot of sense. I'm going to finish this thing up here and then let Bruce uh, send us on our way. I've got a bunch of information to cover. Uh, but to follow up on what T-Money said, that same bank that he was talking about that guy was at, uh, actually uh, another, uh, uh, another uh, I, just got, I just talked to a gentleman just, just uh, yesterday who gave me some information on that same bank. Uh, so they, they apparently know something in their currency department. Um, and I and I could go into depth with the whole how the whole thing un unfolded, but they're they're actually sending out their people looking for high value, high excess clients. Uh, and he was actually told if if he would give them their uh, you know the, his business and deposits and that kind of thing uh, on a on a million dollar deposit, he would get a uh, free tax advisor, a free CPA, a uh, free lawyer, and then on a five million dollar deposit, he leaves it in there. He'd also get a free concierge banker, and I've been saying this all along. Uh, these, you know, there's going to be some deals to be had here very, very soon. Um, so, so just keep your eyes and ears open. Also, uh, that that particular uh, that particular uh, uh, banker that came to see this gentleman, uh, uh, he. Uh, He actually went and bought some dong himself just today, uh, and I, or excuse me, some dinar. I can't really go into where he's at or anything, but he actually had this guy set him up a bunch of a uh, bunch of it himself. Uh, he he was was he was he was uh, searching out uh, this this guy's business, and in in the course of that, he wound up he wound up making uh, he wound up making. Uh, uh, purchase himself. Last Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, we saw the big money making a move on the dinar. Uh, some just monstrous, monstrous plays. You wouldn't hardly believe uh, several of them that I was aware of firsthand, and uh, and I knew at that point something was something was happening. Uh, uh, 
hang on one second here. Sorry about that, folks. Had to take care of a little something there. Can you hear me? Hello? Yes. Yep. Yeah. I got you again? Yep, yeah, good. Uh, okay, sorry about that. Uh, so I so I covered those banking scenarios, big money making plays towards the end of last week. Um, also had another uh, a 20 year uh, treasury source say, uh, uh, that's the night after the banks closed we're on. So they apparently knew something was going on. Uh, they knew something was going on before everybody else did. I didn't really pay a lot of attention to that until until obviously till this all this information started coming out. So um, one thing that I wanted to cover, uh, Poppy and I uh, had a, just got a chance to talk to one of our treasury sources from um, from a while back, and uh, there were several dates that everybody was very excited about, and I'll, I'll say I was too. Um, you know that that couple of there was a few days there prior to the June 30th date, and then the June 30th date as well. We were for sure that the Treasury had sent notices. We were sure that the banks had received those main notices. You know, there's primary you know uh, notifications that this was going to happen. Uh, so we were we were sure we were within 24 hours at that point, and for whatever reason, that source just went totally dark on us. We couldn't hear a just never did did uh, hear a peep back from him, and we just thought that was very very strange. What we we uh, this person uh, we were able to speak with them uh, several a few days ago, and uh, and this person was just so embarrassed that that information was that far wrong that they were afraid to even call us again. They were just just couldn't hardly bring themselves to return the call because it was just so far off. And the information that we were given was perfectly correct. Uh, I think it was about two weeks prior to June 30th, and then on June 30th again. Um, you know, uh, those were both good dates. They were they were go dates. Nothing was wrong with them. Uh, and we got information both times that was just perfectly good. Uh, but this person told us that overnight the information, you know, that the, the information was good, but they changed their mind and pulled it back right at the last minute. So. I don't know exactly what the whole scenario is. Probably we'll never know, but it was very heartening for for he for Poppy and I to uh, to get that information just a couple of days ago. We we had a long talk about it, and we kind of recovered those dates and and what was going on. So so this is this has been in the works for a while, folks. We've been right at the edge of the finish line for for a little bit here, and it sounds like uh, sounds like we're in a really good place right now. I haven't uh, stayed up all night for a very long time, but I don't know if I'm gonna I'm gonna have a tough time sleeping tonight. I'll tell you that for sure. One quick uh, one quick story, and I'm gonna I'm gonna let uh, Bruce pray for you and send you on tonight. I had a, a, another gentleman I talked to. Uh, also, I've talked to him several times. He's he's a great great contact. His daughter is uh, actually in Afghanistan. She's a trooper over there. And uh, several weeks ago, two three weeks ago, she was uh, uh, she was. Uh, uh, there at her her uh, place she works, and uh, there was a unit that came in from the green zone. Uh, they were in the meeting room. Their CO was talking to them, and uh, and he said he, he was addressing the people there, and, and he said that uh, he couldn't tell them when they were in in country, but he could tell them now. He told them to go ahead and call their family, have them buy whatever dinar they could for them. He said there was no use in even telling me telling you while we were in the green zone because you wouldn't have been able to buy it or bring it out anyway. But he said uh, now. And call your relatives and get you some dinar because uh, he hears that he heard back then uh, from upper command that something was going to happen fairly soon. This has been, you know, some in the neighborhood of two or three weeks. Uh, and the reason that this trooper heard that is the door was open to the meeting room and she just was kind of there milling around and, and heard the heard the the CO there talking to the people. So he was he was doing them a, a good thing there and and putting the word out that that he heard some rumor and that they sh they ought to be uh, getting prepared. So it looks like we're going to have a bunch of those troopers. If they did what they were told as good soldiers, they're going to be uh, prepared for this next uh, this next little event here. So I hope that was a good call. I hope everybody liked it. Uh, there was a lot of great stuff poured in right at the very last minute. And I'm very thankful for that. Um, there always seems to be this is such a great intel crew. It's just such an easy job for me to line everybody up and let them go. 
Uh, Bruce, if you're out there, uh, Chris, star six, unmute him. I'm here. Yeah, good. Just, just give it to us, Bruce. Well, thank you all for being on our Dewey Roundtable uh, discussion tonight. This is the, the site that we neither charge nor uh, sell anything on here, including the information, and we don't exclude anyone who wants to come voluntarily. We just want to be a source of good information for everyone so that we can all benefit. This concludes our call for tonight, so let's just close in prayer. Father, thank you for the good news that we've received tonight. Thank you for the good news of the gospel that's even worth more than money. Keep us mindful of who has blessed us with this incredible blessing, and we thank you for that. And also keep us mindful of our responsibility to you for it and to our fellow man. Grant us peace. We give you all the praise, for we know that all good gifts come from you. In the name of our blessed Lord, we pray. Amen. Good night, everybody. Thank you. Good night, everybody.